A lot of stories from our 11 investigates team this week, and there's plenty of stories left on the agenda. Lead investigator Brian Duggar and investigative reporter Kaylee Marin are in studio tonight. Brian, we'll start with you. Uh, many remember that cold case you did last year in Paulding on Nancy Eagleson, but now there's another one. Right, we're back in Paulding for another cold case. This one from 2007 versus 1960. Now, in this case, Teresa Smith's body was found kneeling against a tree on a Paulding County property. And believe it or not, that property owner was also a key figure in that Nancy Eagleson case. Now, another bizarre thing about Teresa's death is that she is from Richmond, Indiana, more than 100 miles away. So I'm bringing you this story on Tuesday. Now, we have a lot of stories we're looking forward to sharing, but also have aired some this week we want to remind you about in case you missed them. Now, Kaylee, this body shop story you've been talking about, a lot of people are upset about it. Yeah, many people are irritated for this woman. I spoke with Brianna Saldivar. She got into a crash. This is her car right here, and that car was taken to 5G's auto recycling. That's on North Detroit Avenue in Toledo. Her insurance wrote the shop a check. It was cashed, and the car is still there. The thing is, it's been there since July, and she says all she gets is a list of excuses from the owner, Dennis Futrell, as to why it's not done. And we have some more information we're going to share with you next week about the owner. Yeah, guys, we also closed two Call 11 for Action cases this week. Residents of condemned trailers will get 45 days to relocate, and the owner of that park in Defiance will have to pay up to 30 days of relocation fees for them. So that case is closed. Plus, a Toledo business is getting $27,000 back in a check fraud case. The owners contacted us last month for help when their bank refused to refund them that $27,000. So Call 11 for Action made some calls on their behalf, and we're happy to report that money is on its way back to their account. Another case closed. If you have anything you think we should know about or if you need us to look into something, you can reach out to us at 11investigates at WTOL.com.